Hey y'all, so <laughs> welcome back to Ascending with Tiff Talks 22. Um, I made a post yesterday in a short about um, how YouTube kind of works with the monetization thing, right? It's a short. I felt like it would resonate for a lot of people who are readers or healers or in the spiritual community in some way, right? Um, I had recorded a full length video, but then something about, I guess, I don't know if it was the delivery of my message or the way that I was saying it. Spirit was like, no, you need to take this out or add this and that. And I was just finally like, no, because I like what I said. But since we didn't agree upon it, I deleted the video. So here I am today uh, getting this message from them because I'm about to start doing the Aries season readings for each zodiac sign. And so they showed me um, for myself, like there's this message that you need to give and I'm trying to figure out how they mean for me to give this message, etc. And I got so frustrated. Well, I didn't get so frustrated at first. I got frustrated ultimately because I don't know if some of you know, like when there's something that I need to speak or to say um, or a message that I need to give, like my throat, my throat will just out of the blue act a fool. It, it does that for me on a personal level, but also when like if I'm tapped into somebody's energy and they have like a throat chakra blockage um that'll happen but i had established with my guides a long time ago like don't do that to me because sometimes it feel like you know how like i used to have a homegirl she would throat chop me <laughs> just out the blue so sometimes it feels like that but it really feels like your your throat is in a chokehold so i'm like oh my gosh like Cut it out. Now I don't even want to talk to y'all no more, right? <laughs> I just saw two, two, two on the clock. Um, and so I got a notification probably about that same time that I was getting frustrated. Like, I'm done with this message. I don't even want to give it. I don't care what it is, right? Because they were doing that thing to my throat. I say they. You know what I'm saying. And so uh, I look at the notification and it's, it's on that short that I did about the monetization thing. And by this time, I'm like, I had already stepped outside because, like, let me transmute my energy because y'all done kind of ran me hot, right? <laughs> and I said, wait a minute. Is that what y'all were trying to tell me to redo, to give that message? And Spirit said, yes. Like, strong and loud and powerful, yes, what, what my symbol is for that. I ain't going to tell y'all all of my interpretation secrets because, like, they're going to differ from yours. You have to figure out what yours are. Anyway... So Spirit was like, yes, strongly and loudly. And I was like, okay, fine, I'm going in. And I ain't putting no, um, no like parameters or borders on what it is I want to say about this whole message, right? I'm just speaking my truth, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Um, but it was about the monetization of our YouTube channels, of platforms, right? Here's the deal. I was trying to watch videos about monetizing. Um, I'm already monetized on all the platforms. But just because you are monetized does not mean you're getting paid. Okay? Especially on YouTube's platform. First of all, they have the criteria where you have to have like a thousand subscribers. Okay? Before you even qualify to be like a part of their partner program. Um, but even then, now I feel like you can, you can like be a fluke where you have something that goes viral and they may pay you for that eventually, or I don't know how that works. That has not been my experience, but, um, from my experience, you have to have a thousand followers, first of all, before you can even qualify to earn money on YouTube first. And then when you do they have to watch the ads that come up um, or they could just watch your content. Like, cause I, I have like premium, so I don't ever see ads. Right. 
But if I watch or follow their content, then they get like a scent or something from that. But either way, that, yeah, you heard right, a scent. So <laughs> even when y'all watch the ads, it's like two or three pennies. I don't. I think I'm being generous when I say three pennies. It's like two pennies, right? <clears throat> so the only people that are really making money from us doing what we do for the platform is the freaking platform. Okay. It's the platform. It's the advice. I mean, the advertisers It's them. So what it really does, I don't care so much anymore. Cause I already know God going to do what God going to do. Right. But when we say like, like the video, um, or engage or watch an ad, it's because this is the case. Oftentimes we are making these this content for you guys and it's for free. So I was watching the and that's fine, like I said, because God gonna do what God gonna do. All right. Um and that's not our motive. Like our motive for doing what it is we do, our motivation was not to earn money. Most of us, some of us in the spiritual community, yeah, that's probably their motivation. But you can tell by the fruit of their tree, right? By the type of content they're putting out, um, the way that they speak, the, the, I'll just say that by the type of content that they put out. Okay. So my motive and motivation for what it is that I do is to be of assistance, to help someone, to inspire someone, to encourage someone, to teach someone, um, to offer clarity to someone, whatever the case, right? It was never money motivated. And so I'm watching this video yesterday about monetizing or monetization. And, and the guy was saying like some stuff that you should do or could do the type of content to create. And I said, Oh God, this ain't for me. Is it? And I said, no, no, it's not right. <laughs> it's not for you. It's for you to have faith and trust divine timing that the way that you are being prepared to serve in your purpose is unfolding. And the people that are meant to be drawn to you and what it is that I'm having you to do, um, preparing your audience, right? So I was like, cool. I'm not going to watch this stuff no more. Like, I'm just not going to watch it. But then I was thinking, like, it's so weird because people really will... Like watch the whole video and then not take two seconds to just hit a thumbs up because either it's like they don't want other people to know that that's what they watching or <laughs> or that's what they supporting or they feel like we can see every single like, like, cha, we can't. Anyway, um, it's just for whatever the reason is, like people engage less. And I feel like that's what makes it more difficult for channels who promote positivity, who promote some type of help or growth for you to grow and to expand and to thrive. It makes it more of a challenge. But that challenging period is also a learning period and a le learning phase for us as well. So I feel like it has multiple benefits. But I just wanted to say that... Um, because your motive and your motivation is different in your purpose, um, the growth is going to be different as well. Like this man was saying, telling people to um, do a variety show. And I was like, what does he mean by that? And he showed a clip of one of his videos where he was out on the street asking people random things. No, I, I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I feel like with this, with this, the age of technology that we are in, as we move into the age of Aquarius, I feel like people are going to be more and more guided to use their voice, use their creative energy. Um, and some of them, their motivation is going to be strictly to earn like a source of income. That's going to be the motivation. And so the techniques or the strategies that they use are not going to be the same for the person who is just making content because they want to follow their hearts, right? Um, yeah, so it's different in that regard. What else did I want to say about this situation? Oh, 
please believe that social media, of course, it was it's a money grab, right? And it was created to keep you pulled in. That's how YouTube earns money, right? The more you're on their platform, the more they can embed their advertisements and they can um, try to sell you stuff. Um, but the advertisers pay the platform. And so, so I heard, I think it was Country Wayne. I heard him one day saying the app just wants you to bring viewers in to keep you on their platform. That's why I refuse to download TikTok. Um, I have a TikTok account, but I have yet to really post on it because like the first time that I downloaded it, I went on there to look at this young man's video that I did um true true crime reading on, but I was scrolling and I looked up and I had wasted three hours just scrolling. And I definitely had other things to do, but I feel like it just creates a distraction. I already know that um and I made I think I made a video about this about the shortened attention span. Um, and that's how the higher ups or the powers that be can shorten your attention span. Cause here you are thinking you got all the information in the length of a, of a reel or a short or a TikTok, And it's like, you didn't, you just get a bit of that information and you think that that's enough. Why? Because you've been programmed to believe that, Oh, I saw this on TikTok, or I saw this on a reel, or I saw this on a short that you have all the facts. There is going to be benefit in a full length video. There's going to be benefit in reading the whole book as opposed to just reading the cliff notes. Right. Um, but if they can condition and program you to say, I'm going to just stay focused on this short or this reel. And then have you in a space where you feel comfortable enough that you have enough information, you're going to likely end up supporting some things that you probably shouldn't be supporting, right? That's that. Um, but also, so not only is there that distracting quality about social media, I don't want to be, as the person that I am, I don't want to be the person that contributes to you wasting precious time on something that is not going to be to your benefit, right? So even in that, um, um, I'm different, right? I feel like a lot of spiritual leaders or work, uh, light workers or advisors are different in that regard. I want to give you content that is going to help you, that is going to offer the things that I mentioned previously, right? And that in itself means that I'm different, from other people. So that's why God was like, this ain't even for you. Like you're not going to be turning flips and doing somersaults and all this extra stuff just to get people to watch your video. And I was like, you damn right. I'm not. <laughs> and I'm not saying like some people are meant to entertain, right. And they create from the heart. Um, they create from the heart and that's what we are supposed to be doing. Like following our hearts, doing what we do out of love, not out of chasing a dime or a penny, um, period. And that's just true. I don't care who that don't sit right with. But yeah, so as a creator of the type of content that I create, when I see people saying, I don't want to watch no ad or I'm knowing they watching where you can see people have hundreds of thousands of views, but then only like a thousand likes. And all these comments. So you took time to do all of these comments, make all these comments, to have all these conversations, to actually watch the video because you commented about it, but you couldn't be bothered to thumbs up the video. That that feels it feels so disrespectful. It's almost like a thankless job. But when you get up into hundreds of thousands of likes or comments um, or even views, right? At least financially, the reward is there for the those of us who have these smaller platforms. And it's like, OK, I'm only getting paid from the ads. It's almost like a slap in the face because you can't even be bothered to thumbs up the video. But on my journey, I feel like God is making me OK with that because I see not only the bigger picture, the future of it as well. Um, so, you know, like I said, God is going to do what God is going to do. And I'm trusting and having faith in that. Whoever it is that needs to see my message or is drawn to my message, 
there, I feel like it's always so intentional, right? So I am going to focus less on the money aspect of it and continue to follow divine guidance and to follow my heart and do what it is that I'm supposed to do. But I did want to put that out there because I feel like people be like, oh, she got a platform. Baby, I got a platform and I use it for good. And it right now is not <laughs> lucrative financially, okay? So that's why you may see a lot of content creators starting Patreons so that we can have some sense of stability in what it is that we are creating, right? Or from what it is that we're creating. So you guys know I have the Patreon. You guys know I do personal readings. You guys know I do the coaching session readings as well. Um... So yeah, everything else that I do where I'm just sharing information or content is just for that, to share the information or the content because my purpose, my goal is higher than just to earn money. Um, one man said, you have to partner with a brand. Listen, we have enough people spending money that they don't need to be spending. So I don't want to be on the other side of that where it's like, I'm influencing you to buy this thing that you probably don't even freaking need because we already live in this society where we are taught that we need more, 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 more to feel valued or to feel wor worthy or to be, um, to keep up with the Joneses. Psh, that is not even how I live. Y'all see me wearing the same clothes. I lost most of my wardrobe in a flood. Like I had my stuff in storage and that place flooded, right? Destroyed. Yeah, I had insurance. They took the value of it, which is probably less anyway. They took the value of it and cut it in half. Okay? So, yeah, like $2,000 for 75% of my wardrobe and a lot of other things that, you know. Anyway, so that's fine because one thing that I have learned being in the situation that I I'm in is that the things that we think we need, we probably only actually need a third or a fourth of anyway. So I'm definitely not going to be one of these people who's on here pushing products to you guys, telling you to buy this or buy that. If it's something that I create and I feel like it's going to be helpful, um, I'll definitely do that. But I'm not going to partner with a brand just to be able to make money, especially if it's not something that I a thousand percent believe in. Because y'all know, I tell you when I like stuff and when I don't like it, okay? So, <laughs> but I don't want that to be come my motivation, right? Because that's not who I am, right? I'm not a materialistic person. I'm not a superficial person. Um, I like what I like and I don't what I don't. So I'm not going to force your opinion in that regard. What I am here to do though, is to walk in my purpose, to share the information that spirit shares with me, to give you guys the divine guidance that, um, parallels what it is that I receive and to help to raise the vibration of humanity period. And I'm doing all of that by walking in my purpose. The money is like a perk if it comes and if it doesn't, right? I know God got me either way. So yeah, I just wanted to share that message because I'm telling you, spirit started choking me today. Like you are supposed to do this video, but I'm like, I recorded it yesterday. You didn't like it, <laughs> but I feel like there was something either I was leaving out or that they wanted me to kind of see differently right? Which I don't know what that is at this point. Cause right now, everything that I'm saying to you is what I wanted to say yesterday. I probably didn't say all of this. It wasn't this long. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. That's why I tell you guys, please support a small content creator. Um, especially if you can see that they not just trying to turn flips to see, to make you laugh like some, uh, performing monkey. All right. Um, support these people who are on their divine path, who are trying to be a light in a dark, dark world, right? I hope this was helpful, guys. Vibe high.